Dear students, welcome to EPG Parsala. Myself, Professor Sampath Kumar Swai, teaching as a professor at Department of Tourism Management at Indira Gandhi National Travel University, Amar Kantak, MP. Today, I am going to discuss with you all on a topic, namely travel in 21st century. After completing this module, students will be able to understand the concept of travel and tourism, current trends in tourism, the technological advancements in travel and tourism, growth of travel and tourism in the 21st century. Introduction Tourism is recognized as a sunrise sector. It is regarded as a significant segment of many international economic activities. Hospitality, indisputably, tourism is one of those global business that is well focusing on various dimensions such as environmental conservation, socio-economic development, enrichment of socio-cultural relationship. Tourism constitutes a large pie of cake of global business. As a worldwide business activity, the involvement of every country, despite of its size and stature, it is very much essential to make tourism industry as an ever-growing sector. The management of national and international tourism in this 21st century is more challenging than the previous ones. It is because many issues have worldwide impacts and are common to all regions and it is to be dealt jointly by the public and private sector tourism organizations. The diverse tourism products and activities is to be managed with utmost efficiency to make this industry more dynamic. In this 21st century, it is absolutely essential to have knowledge of the contemporary tourism practices prevailing across the world such as the issue of zero carbon emission, carbon trading, carbon neutralization, recycling and waste management, global partnership with national and international membership, retention of skilled staff, multi-skilling workforce, business integration, customer loyalty program, guerrilla marketing through brand image, etc. The leisure and tourism came into being in the 19th and 20th century, the industrialization paved, way, paved the way to limited daily and weekly working hours and led to social rights for holidays. The 21st century will be dominated by three important industries, information technology, telecommunication and tourism. The industry has grown by 500 percent in the last two decades, World Travel and Tourism Council. With the tourism industry becoming day by day growing, there is a dire need for qualified tourism professionals. Comparing other industry, travel and tourism was able to spawn new tourism opportunities when the rest of the economy was in drop, in, in droop. For that reason alone, travel and tourism is now considered as nation's third largest retail sales industry and second largest employer. The leisure and tourism came into being in the 19th and 20th century. The industrialization paved way to limited daily and working, weekly working hours led to social rights for holidays. The 21st century will be dominated by three important industries, information technology, telecommunication and tourism. The industry has grown by 500 percent in the last two decades. With the tourism industry becoming day by day growing, there is a need for qualified tourism professionals. Comparing other industry, travel and tourism was able to spawn new tourism opportunities when the rest of the economy was in droop. For that reason alone, travel and tourism is now considered as nation's third largest retail sales industry and second largest employer. Dimensions of travel and tourism. The Babander makes a distinction between the travel and stay. He prefers three sub dimensions distance, short, medium, long haul, origin, domestic and international, mode of transport, car, coach, train, plane, boat and other. For the stay dimension, there are three classifications, duration, less than 24 hours excursions and more than 24 hours. For the latter group, a further restriction is very often made between short holidays, one to three highlights and holidays, four nights or more purpose. Leisure business 
Congress and personal, family, religion, health, education, accommodation, hotel, boarding house, camping, holiday, village, rented apartment or villa, cruise, far and other. It is evident that excursions do not involve an overnight stay. Tourism in the 21st century, the nature, forms, characteristics, need and demand of tourists for travel have changed rapidly over the periods of time. Travel has now become more sophisticated, structured and hassle free. The swift change is certainly inevitable due to increased disposable income development in technology, easy travel formalities and greater global connectivity. Due to this, it is growing at a much faster rate and every country is directly or indirectly part of international tourism business. The top 5 USA, France, Spain, Germany and China are leading the race and dominating the international tourism business in the world. The tourism business is a forward looking mode or more related to the contemporary issues like cross border terrorism, international border conflict, natural resources and energy conservation, pollution and waste management, globalization, urban development, information management, technology and communications, market and workforce and other issues in 21st tourism will be dominated by third world and developing countries. It is considered as a foremost employment generating sector. Tourism is a worldwide concept and it involves significant contribution of intermediaries such as attractions, accommodation, transportation, infrastructure, environment, human resource, education, trade and commerce, economy, etc. In the new millennium, a lot of tourism potentials are needed to be exploited despite its complex nature. There is urgent needs of efficiency and professionalism among tourism professionals to manage the growth of tourism arrivals. Tourism is an emergent industry and gaining into new heights in the 21st century. Due to globalization and digitalization, it has become more accessible than ever before to a large section of the global population and resulted in equal economic opportunities for emerging destinations and developed countries around the world. The major challenge of tourism is facing is not only in attracting or serving increasing demand, another daring task is to mitigate the numerous negative impacts resulting from tourism's rapid growth successful. Destinations sustain balance in developing tourism by engaging tourism stakeholders and communities monitoring best suitable international trends ensuring benefits of tourism outweigh potential negative threats in 10 to 12 century. Tourism will maintain more equitable distribution of revenue earned from tourism between the developed countries and backward region or areas. There is abundant potential of tourism to bringing in a large sum of money exchange and equally generates a huge number of employment opportunities in developing and backward regions also. For example, India is a country with rural people having a dynamic rural economy. A new potential for tourism is to be identified with various new tourism products to bring a most needed transformation in life of rural people. Due to its dynamic nature of tourism, the countries across the world should identify and find ways and means to achieve constant growth and development throughout the globe through a wide knowledge of existing best practices across the globe. Tourism is a fortunate industry of 21st century. This thriving industry is a catalyst for bringing a far-reaching positive changes in the host destinations with economic development and employment creation. There are several unwanted changes that may occur but can be acceptable because the impact will be bearable to an extent in the short run whereas if it is not managed control and sustain, it may take form of killer industry in the long period. Going to the rising disposable income, available leisure time, development of infrastructure, advancement of communication network and mostly destination knowledge and branding. The growth of tourist arrival is rising significantly not only in the western countries but also in Asia Pacific region. The paramount industry is witnessing a major paradigm shift as per the projection of the World Tourism Organization. 
the flow of tourist has changed dramatically and unstoppable and unprecedented due to destination marketing and customization of tourism products has laid the foundation of outstanding changes in the destination image with the growing number of tourist destination developmental development agencies have strengthened the infrastructure and superstructure to cater tourist demands of international and domestic tourism at the public and private level although dependence on the natural resource is also increasing around the transit and destination regions and it would be amazingly double or triple in the near future development is the backbone of tourism industry but due to unplanned and vertical development of built in infrastructure tourist destinations are the sheer sufferers of a over unstructured development and over consumption of physical and natural resources now many authentic and novelty tourist destinations are be are frequently visited by mass tourist destination development agencies to target mass tourists at tourist destinations not merely for revenue generation but also for reverse negative effects of tourism in the 21st century the distance between the countries has disappeared due to the revolution of transportation and communication technology in the time of globalization and liberalization the relationship among the countries has improved and paved the way for tourism to make cosmic noise beside political boundary tourism is often recognized as a green promoter and in the 21st century tourists are more motivated for nature related attractions demand for eco and nature travel has increased significantly in recent years and creating employment organized sector in natural and rural areas current trends in tourism trends that moved the market in 2016 adventure travel in 2016 adventure tourism gained popularity more importantly millennials are taking the stage as leaders millennials millen millennials have been steadily ascending by 2020 this market will be taking 47% more international trips compared to 2013 staycations staycations have been powerful trends in 2016 many travelers were sticking locally to enjoy their vacations fewer barrier to travel cheaper flights weekend breaks foreign destination has become easier than ever with smart translation apps discovering untouched and unique places to explore lesser known destinations especially those which are untouched or unique trends that move the market in 2017 millennials are officially the largest generation in history beating out baby boomers as the youngest generation with leaders in travel and tourism active and adventure trips these experiences include activities like american safari swimming with whale sharks and hiking in the swiss alps female solo travel today solo traveling has become a trend women leading the way in travel industry are taken notice female travelers today are bold independent and looking to explore new experiences food tourism when it comes to travel food is one of the main attractions food tourism is not only confined to dining experience it includes cooking course farm tour etc responsible tourism global climate change has affected all of us tourists are more conscious and concerned about socio economic and environmental aspects mobile photography documentary travel has increased a lot these days given the brilliance of smart phones and cameras people are finding it easy to click as well as upload business and leisure uh, business and leisure bill laser is a favorite topic among tourism experts linking tourism with business technological advancements in tourism in 21st century mobile technology path breaking advancement like a gps service online mapping facility search based on location and geo tagging introduced through mobile phones helps the travelers to, to a lot social social networks mobile social networking sites join your mobile to the internet via applications the startup service providers include every trail jubilee where ev bin trailer 
a next stop that allow the users to share their experiences with others in the same network, search engines. Search engines like Google, Travelgate, Waze, Open Places and Elf are focused on enhancing the search reports on services offered by different hotels, activities, contents on local destinations and most importantly comments of the other previous users. SaaS and Wave 2.0 plus gone are the days when the local tour operators used manual registers, the introduction of specialized web based software, model known as software as a service will inculcate modern expertise in an attempt to upgrade this industry with a broader distribution of business for travel operators and an opportunity to stand out in the field of marketing and promotions. Technological advancement in aviation industry with air travel going to triple in the next 20 years, the future of commercial aviation, particularly passenger aircrafts, takes into consideration accessibility, energy conservation, speed safety and comfort. Several aircraft manufacturers have planned for aerodynamic and aircraft with different passenger capacity. Today, Airbus 380 can handle more than 500 passengers. NASA and Airbus are together coming up with a blended wing body BMW that is capable of handling passengers loads from 600 to 1000 passengers. On the other hand, supersonic flights called as supersonic transport planned for deployment by 2030, a passenger jet that would fly 300 passengers at more than 2400 kilometers 1500 miles per hour, it would be capable of crossing oceans in half the time of current passenger jets with hypersonic aircrafts reaching maximum speed of 6000 kilometers per hour an aircraft flying at that speed would travel from london england to sydney australia in less than 5 50 minutes scramjet technology can take commercial aviation to the edge of space and when combined with rockets spawn space plane technology that takes up and lands on runways similar to those used by the commercial jets today tourism and sustainable development goals for the future. The sustainable development goals officially known as transforming our world, the 2030 agenda is a subset of 17 global goals with the 169 targets between them. The goals cover a broad range of sustainable development issues. Goal 1, end poverty in all its forms everywhere. Goal 2, end hunger achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Goal 3, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for, for all at all ages. Goal 4, ensure inclusive and equitable equality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Goal 5, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Goal 6, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Goal 7, ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable energy for all. Goal 8, promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. Goal 9, build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. Goal 10, reduce inequality within and among the countries. Goal 11, make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Goal 12, ensure sustainable consumption and production pattern. Goal 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Goal 14, conserve and sustainable use the oceans, seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Goal 15, protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystem, sustainable manage forest, combat, desertification and halt and reverse land, degradation and halt biodiversity loss. Goal 16, promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide to access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Goal 17. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. 
driver of travel and tourism in 21st century. The world is increasingly bipolar between the macro and the micro development. Now, every country is integrally wedged into the global economy and no country can even think of overall prosperity without operating in established and emerging markets. The tourist has more choices and better value of money in this open and globalized world economy due to increased competition. Cultural capital. Culture is becoming more significant driver for a destination as wealth and educational accomplishment is on rise. The cultural capital of a destination is some total of attitudes, knowledge, awareness and skills that are embraced within the arts and heritage of a place and a whole nation. Culture and heritage is one of the major components of a nature's brand and a key measurement of the propensity to travel to a destination and tourism development events. Tourism destinations throughout the world are increasingly available because of a rise of accessibility of place. Tourists are now consistently exposed to and influenced by various events, whether environmental disasters or sporting occasions or gala events. The events such as the Olympic Games or the Football World Cup or any mega events, the number of international and domestic visitors to the host countries or destinations are increasingly every passing event. Cultural events such as the Kumbh Mela in Allahabad, the Haj in Saudi Arabia, any international festival is shaping destinations social cachet. Some arbitrary acts of violence by various terrorist organizations, occurrences of extreme weather or natural calamities in popular tourist destinations, the role of government policies and ability to act in different areas of society determines safety of a local and tourist impression of a particular situation. It, it depends on how aggressively a specific negative events each tackled with prosperity and affordability. According, according to the Future Foundation, visitors perceive holiday as luxury product. The desire for holiday is driven by product affordability and prosperity of tourists. Prosperity of tourists is a resultant of rising incomes, which is doubled in the last two decades, whereas affordability is a resultant of falling prices of commodities. This is exemplified by tourists who can easily afford in luxury hotels for travel by budget transportation. Tourists are making their money to continue for longer term as incomes rise and price fall. This conventional pattern of economic behavior is trending all over the world. The number of middle classes population in the rising in India, China, some part of Europe and they are the tourists of tomorrow for next two decades. Accessibility. The technological advances in every fields leaping towards next level and tourist world is shrinking as never before. The availability of internet to common people has broken boundaries and allows tourists to choose a tourist destination from anywhere to any place in the world and beyond. The online economy of travel and tourism expansion in the economies of scale has enlarged tourist market. Travel these days is much easier as more direct flights between two distinct destinations, providing more option of tourists. The world is wide open to the tourist and visa restrictions are opening up, less difficult and the world is accessible to everyone. Long term tourism, trends projected by World Tourism Organization. Over the past six decades, tourism has experienced continued expansion and diversification, becoming one of the largest and safest growing economy sectors of the world. Despite occasional shocks, tourist arrival has shown virtually uninterrupted growth from 277 million in 80 to 5.28 million in 1995, 983 million in 2011. According to Tourism Towards 2030, the UNTO Long Term Outlook and Assessment of Future Tourism Trends, the number of international arrivals worldwide is expected to increase by 3.3 percent a year on year average from 2010 to 2030. This represents some 43 million more international tourist arrivals every year, reaching a total of 1.8 billion arrivals by 2030. In the past emerging economies, destinations have grown faster than advanced economy destinations 
and this trend is set to continue in future. Between 2010 to 2030, arrivals to emerging economies are expected to increase or double the pace plus 4.4 percent year of those to advanced economies plus 2.2 percent a year. As a result, the market share of emerging economies has increased from 30 percent in 1980 to 47 percent in 2011 and is expected to reach 57 percent by 2030, equivalent to over 1 billion international tourists. Summary, tourism is recognized as a sunrise sector. It is regarded as a significant segment of many international economic activities. The diverse tourism products and activities is to be managed with utmost efficiency to make the industry more dynamic. In this 21st century, it is absolutely essential to have knowledge of the contemporary tourism practices prevailing across the world. The 21st century will be dominated by three important industries, information technology, telecommunication and tourism, the third world and developing countries. It is considered as a foremost employment generating sector. There is, urgent need, there is urgent need of efficiency and professionalism among tourism professionals to manage the growth of tourism arrivals. Tourism is an emergent industry and gaining into new heights in the 21st century. Due to globalization and digitalization, it has become more accessible than ever before to a large section of the global population and resulted in equal economic opportunities for emerging destinations and developed countries around the world. With this, I conclude the presentation. Many, many thanks to all of you.